BBC Radio Wales Breakfast with Claire Summers. Good morning. Poverty in Wales is being deepened by the cost of living crisis, high inflation and the price of energy. Experts from the Wales Centre for Public Policy say that continuous action is needed to address long-standing issues. They've put together a report with recommendations on what the Welsh Government could focus on as they consider how to help people who are struggling. Well, Dan Bristow is the Director of Policy and Practice at the Wales Centre for Public Policy, who are based at Cardiff University. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Thank you for being with us some early this morning. Tell us then, tell us a bit more about the report and those key findings. Well, as you were saying in your intro there, coming into the pandemic, Wales had seen almost a quarter of households living in relative income poverty. And that stat had stayed broadly Uh, stable for almost two decades. And of course, since then, we've had the economic shock of the pandemic and the current cost of living crisis and associated inflationary pressures. Today, WCPP are launching a major review that draws together international evidence of what works and insight from lived experience and sets out some recommendations for how the government should go about developing a long-term plan that is about setting Uh, the whole public sector up for the response that will be needed beyond the current responding to the current crisis. And just before we talk about how Welsh Government can go about that, just in terms of the research, um, you set up some focus groups. Just just give us an idea, uh, Dan, of the type of people that you included in them and, and just, I guess, some of the stories you heard. Sure. So we, we were... Um, we were partnering with a couple of uh, organisations that work directly with people who are struggling to uh, make ends meet. Um, and they they worked with us to bring together four focus groups where we got a chance to talk to people who, like you say, are actually having to um, kind of wrestle with the complexity of trying to stitch together um, in some cases, you know, the childcare that they need, the trying to sort out the transport that they need in order to be able to uh, kind of put the hours in at their job that means that they got a sufficient income to make ends meet. One of the things that really struck me, I guess two things really struck me about that. One is while the Welsh government and the Welsh public sector are really active across a range of different areas to try and support people in different ways, actually those those support those those kind of interventions to support people aren't particularly well joined up around the individuals that they're trying to support so if there's major investment in transport infrastructure there's efforts to kind of reduce the cost of transport but yet people can't find public transport that will get them to the job that they can access and back in time to kind of pick up the care responsibilities they had. So that kind of disconnect between the interventions and the lived experience of people. And then the second area was actually, it was around the mental load and the mental health impacts of struggling to make ends meet. Um, and it sounds obvious when you say it, but actually coming into this work, much of the the literature around uh, tackling poverty and, and supporting people who are struggling doesn't talk about the stress and the strain. And actually, if you listen to people talk about their experience of trying to access support, in some cases, arguably in many cases, the system is making that that mental load harder is making people feel like they have to fight to access support rather than ha- finding a, a public sector system that is there to help It's really interesting as well, just important to to stress to listeners, you know, this research so focusing solely on Welsh government, what they can do rather than what UK government to do. Welsh government have said tackling poverty cannot be seen as a singular issue. That's why we take a government wide long term approach in Wales. Uh, They go on to say that this year they've committed to spend more than 1.6 billion on schemes that target the cost of living crisis and on programmes that put money back in in people's pockets. I'm just hearing what you were saying, though, Dan. is policy being backed up? Well, I think um, one of the things that, uh, having worked in in Wales and the Wales public sector system and policy system for a while now, I think um, one of the things that that could we could be doing better is um, investing the time and energy that is needed in 
focusing on delivery. So Welsh Government um, could be using, I think, more of its soft power as well as the kind of hard power that it has through money and legislation and the fact that it's the, you know, the Welsh Government to try and bring people together. I think there's a huge opportunity here. There's a real shared interest. You know, if you think, if you listen to people working in the public sector at, at all levels, everybody is trying to think about how their organization can support those who are struggling. But I think at the moment, the opportunity uh, to kind of bring that activity together is being missed. Welsh Government could be much more active in challenging and supporting organizations to pick up ideas that have been shown to work elsewhere in Wales. Um, and uh, it, good practice is a, p- a poor traveler is the kind of hack- hackneyed old saying about um, uh, kind of uh, the way that the Welsh public sector is, is I think, struggling to learn from success that it does have. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, it, it sounds great, a policy in, in, in a stark headline, doesn't it? But it's about f- following through on that action and, and delivering it. And, and we know in terms of the research you've done, um, Dan, this before the, cro- the cost of living crisis hit. I mean, with all of that in mind, how concerned are you by the, the increased impact that can now have on people in Wales? Well, I think we're all really concerned uh, about um, the impact of kind of inflationary pressures and the, the rising costs of of energy, but also uh, food. Um, I, I mean, I think uh, the the long standing issue um, in, in Wales can only have been made much worse by this, and um, I think people are people are really struggling. Really good to have you on with us this morning and and taking us through um, all of your research. Dan, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dan Brister, the Director of uh, Policy and Practice at the Wales Centre for Public uh, Policy.